Hello and welcome to HealthyHouseplants.com where we teach you all about gardening in the great indoors. Today's tutorial is sponsored by our Amazon affiliate link which you will see in the description below. So today I'm going to talk to you about repotting African violets and, and repot one. Now African violets, a lot of houseplants don't need to be repotted that often but African violets do. Ideally every six months is a really good um, thing to consider uh, but at the very least once a year. So if you do repot them on a regular basis, you're going to get a lot of really nice uh, uh, flowers. Um, if you don't, you're, you're not going to get as many flowers, and you're also going to get some yellowing of leaves. Now, this plant right here, I'm going to repot today and for you, to show you. And, uh, and the first thing to talk about here is when a plant is showing that it needs repotting. So say you don't remember when you repot it. Well, for one thing, you'll see, and actually all of these could use, could use repotting, and we'll be getting repotted, but today I'm going to repot one for you. So yellowing of leaves. Now you'll see actually on this one, I did recently fertilize this one. So the green, the, it's greener in the center and they're yellower on the outside. So generally speaking, lighter color leaves like this guy here means that the plant is a little nutrient deficient. Same thing is starting to happen on this one here. You see that even though it just did recently reflower. This one actually is reflowering, but the flower is kind of underneath there. So what we're gonna do is repot this, and once I do that, then what's gonna to happen too is that the plant is going to start flowering like crazy. So first, before we repot though, what we're gonna do is talk about the size of the, the pot. This size of the pot, I am going to go actually a little bit smaller because this pot is a little big for this plant right now. Um, they tend to do that. They, when you get new African violets, a lot of times they're gonna be a little bit too big of a pot. What you want, and I have a video on this as well, is a two thirds, one third plant to pot ratio. So you want two thirds plant to one third pot. If you have too much pot, then you have too much wet soil, and then it's going to lead to root rot, or it's just going to lead to the plant growing sluggishly and not really fast and maybe getting some disease and pests. So I'm going to go a little bit smaller in this. I will make that final determination. However, when I do take it out of the pot, because if it was root bound, I would want to go into a bigger size pot, but I don't think it's going to be. Okay. However, before I do that, I want to prune it a little bit. You see these outer leaves here. If this whole plant looks a little cattywampus. So I'm going to take off the leaves that aren't doing as well, pinch them off. And you know, the older leaves, the leaves are yellowing a bit, pinch them off, get rid of them. Okay. So now we're ready. This one, um, think I'm going to take that one as well. All right. You can also use these. I have another, another video on how to root these. These can be put in water and rooted and make whole new plants out of all those, which I will do. Okay, so when you're taking a plant out of a pot to, to repot it, you want to squeeze the plant pot and you want to turn it over gently into your hand. Now you'll see from this that the plant doesn't have all that many roots as I suspected. So that being said, I am going to go be, put it into the smaller, into the smaller pot. Now, what I've done here is I have put, that is drywall tape. I use it instead of screen to, um, to clog up, to, not to clog up, but to put some screening there so all the soil doesn't keep coming out of the pot every time you water. So that's a good little tip. It's easy to use. It comes in rolls. And it's, it's, uh, I found that screen sometimes would poke me and things like that. So I, I, that's why I started using this. And I saw some laying around and thought, oh, that looks, and it lasts last for a long time too. Okay, so I'm using to repot here a really good organic soil 
Uh, this is Promix BX, which I tend to use for a lot of things because it is water retentive, yet it isn't full of bark. I don't like the real barky uh, soils. I tend They tend to dry out too quickly. They don't retain moisture as well as they need to, and African violets do like a lot of moisture, and um, they don't retain as many nutrients either. So this is, a, this is nice. It is It does drain well, which you want, but it also retains moisture as well. Okay, so... I have, what I did was put water in this. So you want to moisten it. So you want the soil to be moist. You don't want it to be soggy, but you, you want the, when you make a ball that it falls apart fairly easily. So you don't want, you know, but you also want it to be moist. And one of the reasons why you want it to be moist is when you put the soil in here, if you put dry soil in the pot and then you plant the pot, you plant the plant, and then you water, it's going to sink in the, in the pot and you're not going to have enough soil. Okay, so now I'm taking this plant shaking off some of this soil. A lot of the soil, the soil that I'm taking off may have had, may have some fertilizer in it, may have some salt buildup, so I don't necessarily want that. I do want it, especially for African violets. I want it to get into some new soil so that it's gonna start flowering and growing really pretty big leaves for me and looking really good. So I put some soil on the bottom of here. I'm gonna fit it in and see how it does. And it looks like I'm good. I want, the, the, I want the, the top of the soil to be just like an eighteenth of an inch below the pot here. Um, sometimes you, or a sixteenth or to a quarter of an inch. Usually though, for smaller plants like that, I like to go about eighteenth, sixteenth of an inch. So that way when you water, the water won't flow over the top. However, the plant is high up in the pot because when you have the crown of the plant, which is the center part where all the growth comes out of, deep in the pot, you can get things like crown rot which and uh, root rot, which uh, African violets are susceptible to. So now I am adding in soil, and I'm going to make sure that I fill any air pockets as I do this, so that I'm adding in soil around the sides. You can see with the soil nice and moist like this as well, that it fits in nicely and where it's not, I'm not gonna be having some big holes. You don't want big, big holes, which happens with dry soil as well. So big pockets of air in there because then the plant can die because it's not getting the moisture that it needs. You, you do want some air circulation for the roots, but you don't want big air pockets in there. Okay, so I've got it pretty good. Now I check around, feel any areas that are a little bit lower than others. I'm going to water it next. So you want, as soon as you plant a plant, you do want to water as quickly as possible. I'm going to soak it really nicely for house plants, African violets, and any other house plants. You want to use lukewarm to tepid water. Get it nice and, you want to moisten it really well. So wet it so it's nice and soppy and, and, and just really well so the water starts to come out the drainage holes is what you want. Now, you won't water it again until probably about the first quarter inch or so is starting to dry out and the plant is lighter weight. And you can tell by how it feels now and how it will feel later. Okay, so I've got that good there. And then you can put it, I like to do my African violets since I'm changing them, repotting them so often in plastic pots. That way I can change sizes as they get bigger as well more easily. And then I put them in a prettier outer pot like this guy and uh, they fit, that fits in nicely that way and you can, it has a nice look to it. So that is something to keep in mind. Now you would want to, once the plant becomes acclimated, once it, um, it's, once it does, you will see new growth and you may even see flowers. At that point, you wanna start fertilizing. You fertilize African violets ideally about once a month. This is one of my favorites for that. It's a liquid fertilizer. So this, uh, plant probably in about a month to six weeks I will be fertilizing it and um, it will be producing lots of beautiful flowers for me. Well thank you for stopping by. Please leave comments about any indoor gardening tutorials you'd like to see and remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video.